Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. All right, rain is getting very, very close to Hartford. In fact, it's falling in uh, portions of Hartford right now. Let's uh, check out early warning pinpoint top. We got rain coming down on, well, let's see, Park Street. We uh, got a little bit of rain coming down on Fox. Um, Fox uh, Loft Road, Griswold Drive, Milton Street, and also a little bit of rain coming down on Asylum Avenue on the western side of Hot, uh, Hartford. Prospect Avenue as well. It's raining lightly in West Hartford. We'll widen out the shot. You can see that the rain is coming down a little bit harder just to the north and west of Hartford, up there around New Hartford right now. Bar Campstead, you're getting some heavier rain, some moderate rain in Heartland. And this is also true in places like uh, Salisbury, Canaan, and Norfolk, where the rain is coming down a a little bit harder on a statewide view some heavy rain to the north of Springfield but no rain in southern Connecticut at least not yet there's our ICAM in Hartford where we've had an overcast sky all day long Waterbury cloudy some fog as well the uh, rain is getting very close to you and in New London you've still got a ways to go before the rain moves in it's probably going to come in there somewhere between six and seven o'clock this evening but it's cloudy there and it's cool no matter where you live in fact in Groton it's 44 you get over to Waterbury at the Waterbury Oxford Airport 41 it's 48 in Hartford and 46 degrees in New Haven it should be very very close to 60 this time of the year so it's two cool days in a row two cloudy days in a row so it's time for some sunshine and we got a breeze out there making it feel even cooler. Hartford has wind out of the south at 13 and Groton a wind out of the east southeast at 13 miles an hour right now. You can see warmer air once again is off to our west Scranton 74 Harrisburg is in the mid 70s and Philadelphia is 72. That's where the uh, thunderstorms fired up but they're heading into some cooler maritime air over Connecticut and that's why they'll be in the process of diminishing as they move across the state. So shower embedded thunder then you get up into Vermont New Hampshire and Maine snow once again so futurecast shows that by seven o'clock this evening a lot of the rain will be to the south and east of Hartford as we go up to midnight maybe a few lingering showers in eastern Connecticut and then tomorrow it looks like we'll have partly to mostly sunny skies for a change a brisk northwesterly breeze that will likely keep temperatures in the 50s tomorrow. We'll have clear skies and light winds tomorrow night. Temperatures could drop down to freezing or below. And then on Thursday, mostly sunny, maybe some late day clouds. And with high pressure over us, the wind is going to be light. So once the showers move out, we're going to see temperatures drop into the 30s and low 40s by late tonight. And highs tomorrow range anywhere from near 50 in Salisbury to uh, the mid and upper 50s near the I-95 corridor. Hartford right around 55, 58 on Thursday off of a chilly morning of 30, mostly sunny. Friday becoming cloudy. There could be a shower in the afternoon. It'll be breezy, a high of 63. Rain is more likely Friday night, and a couple of showers could linger into Saturday morning. But when the sun comes out Saturday, temperatures will rise into the 70s away from the coast, 60s on Sunday with a chance for some afternoon showers. Then the rain could be heavy at times Sunday night on into Monday morning. For the shoreline tomorrow, we'll go for a high of 57 degrees.